I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today we're going to show you how to make a rustic mushroom soup. Now today we're actually using all dried mushrooms because that's what we have and we have a wide variety of them we're really excited about because they're from all over the world. We were going to call it country mushroom soup but it's from all over the world so we're calling it rustic mushroom soup because I want to leave these nice big huge chunks, right? I'm going to show you a couple of the mushrooms that we're using. Make sure you check out the reviews for these. This is um, this is a black mushroom, a black fungus it's called. They call it wood ear mushroom or a tree ear mushroom or any kind of variety of those terms. And these, uh, these when they reconstitute, when you, when you put boiling water, which I'm getting ready here, and you put that over top of the mushrooms, and you cook with them, these ones actually seem to retain somewhat of a crunch, but it has a nice slippery texture, and this is used a lot in Asian cuisine. Now I've got a whole bunch of chanterelles, which are a French, French style mushroom, and they're very tasty, and they're beautiful with seafood and butter and things like that. These are also going in here, they're tinier. And I have a really nice uh, basic mix from uh, Qual First. You can check out that review I have for Qual First, the dried mixed mushroom mix. And um, this, a ton of different kinds of mushrooms. It doesn't tell me on the package, but it looks like big portobellos and trumpet mushrooms and some more of these wood ears too. Now, I also had a bunch of these beautiful shiitake mushrooms, and I know I've done a review on these too. I'm gonna have to put that on the bottom of the screen for you. Look at these giant fluffy mushrooms, and they're not even reconstituted yet, so I can't wait to see when they're all big. And we have, what else do we have here? Oh, the Polish mix. We had the Polish mix of mushrooms, whole bunch of different mushrooms. I wouldn't even begin to try and pretend like I would remember them all. One of them was a King Bolit, and they had scaber stalks and stuff like that, which I have never really heard of. But we use them a lot in our, our Ukrainian dishes, like for Christmas and stuff like that. Anyhow, we're going to make a soup today. So all of these mushrooms are gonna go into this here. I don't like to add my mushrooms right to the pot or the dish that you're cooking with as while they're dry, because you're gonna to wanna to um, take them out of the liquid that they're sitting here reconstituting in. Now you can use that liquid, you can use it for tea or you can use it for stock if you really want to, but sometimes it's just a little too earthy. And some of these mushrooms, I mean, they grow out of the ground. They kind of tend to be so, um, still have soil in them, dirt and soil. So a lot of that's going to come out in here too, and you don't want to put that right into your, you know, your soup, your pretty soup. So I'm just taking some boiling water and I'm just going to pour it on top and we're going to let these guys sit for a good 15, 20 minutes. Awesome, I might need some more. We'll be right back when these are reconstituted. Oh, they look so beautiful. Look at them all, mommy. Well, they they look gorgeous. great. Now, feel free to use whatever kind you want. Trumpet mushrooms, lobster mushrooms. Yeah, chanterelles. Chanterelles, those king oysters. Mm -hmm. Really, any kind of those. And if you want to, you can add fresh mushrooms to this whole slew of mushrooms in your in your pot for this soup too. But these are gonna the dried, ones that we're using today and I'm excited to, to get started. <laughs> All right, see you right back. Okay, well you guys know that we don't really ever waste anything, so we made a nice stock today with the bones that we had in our freezer that we've saved from various, you know, dishes that we've made or um, chicken that we've carved up and stuff. Uh, and we've made a beautiful, really tasty um, stock out of a bunch of different vegetables. You know how we save our, our skins and things like that? And just throw them in a freezer bag so that they're ready for when you want to make something like this, a nice flavorful stock. So I'm just going to strain mine. Now you can use water with yours, you can use a, sto a store-bought stock, or a stock that you made for this soup. So get yours ready. Okay, so my mushrooms have been reconstituting for, I would say, at least 30-40 minutes. Wouldn't you say, Mom? I just wanted to make sure because we're using those woody ear ones and you know they do they tend to have that it's a, it's the strangest texture isn't it they are they are actually crunchy but not like crunchy as you would think in a, a cracker kind of crunchy but it has a nice crunch actually you can hear it and and it it's a is very nice texturally speaking so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to strain these um, mushrooms and I'm going to reserve the liquid the liquid into another pot just so I can deal with that later so I'm going to reserve it for something else not today but I'm going to do that so I can just look at these mushrooms and chop up the ones I need to okay so here's my mushrooms I have them drained but I, I just because I wanted to see them now you might want to take a test of your uh, mushroom liquid that you have reserved you might really, really enjoy the flavor, as today it's fantastic, and I think that we're gonna add most of it back to that soup to mix in with our fabulous stock that we already have. 
just to get the extra um, benefits of the mushrooms as well as that gorgeous flavor and color. So here, I've got some really large mushrooms that need to be cut. So like, look at these giant ones, right? Those are the woodier ones. You don't want to have one big giant mushroom like that. You can't pick that up with a spoon. So I'm going to just pour these out so I can take a look at what's going on and just roughly chop through with a nice sharp knife. Look at those mushrooms. Isn't that going to be awesome? Look at this, mummy. Look at all those mushrooms. <laughs> so grab yourself a mezzaluna. It works very well. It's so easy and fast. And we've got these be big, beautiful shiitake mushrooms. Look how they reconstituted mum. Gosh, what a treat. So I'm just gonna slice through. I don't want to really chop through too much. I like to have nice big chunks. I just don't wanna have an enormous mushroom on my um, spoon that I just can't deal with. So do a nice rough chop. We were gonna call it the country mushroom soup, don't forget, but it's rustic. So when things are rustic, they're nice and big. They're not all perfect and dainty and you know, you wanna have nice big chunks uneven things so it doesn't look too perfect I think food sometimes that looks too perfect is just you know it's not down home all the time so what do you think of this nice rough chop Mom? I think it's pretty good I'm pretty satisfied I've we've got nice big big chunks okay so here goes so I have my stock pot on the stove with that stock in it that's already made already cooked now these mushrooms are already cooked now we're just trying to mingle all the ingredients to make everything really tasty tasty so into the pot all the mushrooms go this is going to be a really beautiful hearty mushroom dish because there's so many mushrooms we use them up. mushrooms are very good for your immune system you want to eat tons of them especially in this cold weather that we have here in canada in the winter now to our amazing stock we also have about six cups of the mushroom liqueur that these guys were reconstituting in. It's very tasty and we're adding it today. So in that now, case. we're gonna re-season um, this soup a little bit. Now the stock has already been seasoned, but now it has extra ingredients in and we're gonna customize it. So a little bit of bay leaf. We're gonna add about, I don't know, a half a teaspoon, maybe a quarter, third of a teaspoon of, of chili flakes. I'm going to add about eight peppercorns. And about a half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. That's just what I like to do. Now, re-season to taste with the salt. But what I'm going to do now at this point is we have quite a bit of stock. And that's great. We want that for flavor. But what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it down a little bit to make it even more of a concentrated, fantastic flavor. So this is going to go for just a little bit longer. We're going to reduce it down. Taste test. And that's just about it. This is going to be a really tasty mushroom is going to be the star of this dish. That's for sure. Be right back. Okay. My soup has come up to a boil and I've just turned it down to a simmer. Now I'm going to let it simmer for a good 30 minutes. I'm just going to go wander around and do things I have to do around the house and my other errands. Um, on the side, I'm, or in the bowl actually, I'm going to be serving rice. You can also make barley if you want to, but I'm just getting my rice prepared in my rice cooker. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check out my show, How to Cook Rice in a Rice Cooker. Okay? We'll be right back. So this soup is ready and it's flavorful. You want to re-season to your own taste preference. So if it's not salty enough, put a little more salt. Do it slow bits at a time so that you don't over-salt it and then you're stuck. Um, you can add onions and garlic to this. You can add potatoes if you wanted to. All of the above are really nice and tasty. But what we're going to do today is we're serving with rice. So I'm going to get a little bit of rice for my bowl. Okay, so I have rice in my bowl and I'm just going to add some of the soup on top. I'm still reducing it a little bit as we go, but I'm ready to eat and I'm hungry. Mom baked some fresh bread last night, so that's what I'm going to have alongside it. And I am so happy for this soup because I just love mushrooms. Mom, would you like to try some of mine? Yes, I'd How love about we to. do that? Love to. It should be really hot right now, so let me grab another spoon. Okay, so Mom's going to taste test it here, Mommy. Try a little bit of that. I'm going to cut some bread. Would you like a piece of bread? Sure. Mmm. That is delicious. Is it? I really like this bread you made yesterday too, Thank Mommy. You. We have to do this on film. What a tasty bread this is. Mmm, 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 mommy. You like that? Mm. Why do you like it? What's good? Oh, it's just, it's so hearty. 
It is, mm -hmm. even though there's just those mushrooms in it. The mushrooms are really meaty, aren't they? They really are. I like it. You can add meat to this as well if, if you want to. You could add some nice chicken well, breast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could add nice chicken breast. You could even add some beef to that. You could add, you know, whatever. Whatever. You feel like. Absolutely. Here's a piece of bread for you. Thank I'm you. gonna try it too. Let's oh, try this. Wait till you try it. It's so good. It's worth it. Yes. Now this is a, such a simple soup. We kept it really simple with just the mushrooms and the stock and just some flavor seasonings. See what how much you can do with so little, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, there's some rice on the side and that really beeps things up. Now, I added a little bit of minced parsley on the top at the end. And um, I put a dollop of butter on the top just to, you know, give it a nice little Beautiful. bit of fat content on the top. Beautiful. Mmm, thank you. I'm going to have my own bowl now. Mmm, <laughs> that is so good. I thought I would miss the cream in it because I usually put cream in it, but this is it's mm. wonderful. It's so hearty and delicious. And so healthy for you. Mmm, -hmm. very, very good. It's good too. with just the rice. Yes. And you know what? I didn't even really need to season much with the salt or anything at the end. Mmm, good. I quite like that with the bread I and everything. It. I love it. Let me show them what this looks like. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. So that's this beautiful rustic mushroom soup. We made that from scratch today. And I hope that you try it. It's a great soup for in the middle of winter here, I gotta say, because it is tasty, it's flavorful, it is hearty, and it's so good for you. It, uh, the mushrooms, again, great for your immune system and your health, keep you healthy. No colds, no flu around here. That's right. You know what I mean? Very, very good this winter. Absolutely. So make sure you check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. That's pretty good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I really like it too. It's tasty.